Good morning. Welcome to Storytime with Miss Shante. And today we are going to be reading one of our staff's favorites, Grandpa's Teeth. And it's by Rob Clement. We love this story. So I hope you do too. So here we go. Grandpa's Teeth. Help! We have been robbed! We heard Grandpa shouting, It's disastrous! Come quickly! He was still shouting at Mom and Agatha, and I ran up the stairs. Grandpa's room was a mess, but to be honest, it was always a mess. He blamed Grump, his old dog, but Grump looked too old to me to make much of a mess. What's been taken? gasped Mom. Your VCR? Your television? That's your gold-plated golfing trophies. No, said Grandpa. Twice much more since uh, it's my teeth. They've been stolen. Grandpa normally kept his teeth in a glass of water by his bed. The glass was still there, but the teeth were missing. You haven't swallowed them by mistake, have you? asked Mom. Of course not, replied Grandpa. Twice teeth were specially made by the finest Swiss craftsmen. Agatha looked at Mom and whispered, Why is Grandpa talking funny? You just how serious this is, moaned Grandpa. I never speak a flight again. Are you sure you looked everywhere? asked Mom. Under the bed, behind the cabinet, in all the drawers? Yes, replied Grandpa, but tears in his eyes. I've looked everywhere. Mom called the police. Officer Rate looked grave. We've done a thorough search of the room and house, but we found nothing at all. No teeth, no clues. Everyone was at home at the time of the theft. So how the thief got in and out without being seen is a mystery. Can you give a description of the stolen article, Mr. Periwiskel? Grandpa frowned, rubbed his chin, then clo looked closely at the officer. Could you smile, please? He asked. Smile, yeah, a nice big smile. Officer Ray grinned sheepishly. No, shouted Grandpa angrily. I mean really smile. Officer Ray smiled broadly. Hmm. Grandpa leaned forward, tapped the officer's teeth with his finger, and growled suspiciously. They look just like yours. Officer Rate looked shocked. Uh, I've had these for years. Officer Rate took us all down to the station for further investigation. Using Grandpa's description, the police artist drew a picture of the missing teeth. They put up our wanted poster with all the others. There's the wanted teeth, right in the middle of the board. Officer Rate rounded up the usual suspects and took them in for questioning. All of them were asked to smile. Most of them were missing teeth as well, 
but just one or two, not the whole set. Then they even brought in our unfriendly neighbor, Miss Carbuckle, because her own teeth didn't fit. But Grandpa didn't recognize her or the teeth in the police lineup. I've never seen her smile before, he explained to Officer Rate. After several days, Officer Rate had to attempt that no teeth had been found, no thief had been caught, and no new clues had been uncovered. Grandpa suspected everyone, especially anyone who didn't smile. Soon the whole town was smiling at him, although he never smiled back. He had nothing to smile with. Mom even got a call from one of those TV shows, Unsolved Crimes. They came to the house in a helicopter. They had reenacted the whole thing. When Grandpa was interviewed, he asked the reporter, Pearl White, if he could borrow some of her teeth. After all, he mumbled, you have more than enough. Dad called Switzerland to find out how much a new set of teeth would cost. He was so shocked when he found out that he dropped the phone. The only way we could ever afford it he joked with Mom, is to sell the house. Grandpa thought this was a great idea. Who needs a house anyway? It doesn't help you chew your food. To cheer him up, they took Grandpa to the amusement park. It was a disaster. He took one look at the front entrance and busted into tears. Why do you think Grandpa busted into tears when he saw the entrance? What did he see? Did he see teeth? Oh my goodness. Everyone watched unsolved crimes, but no one called Officer Rate, and the crime remained unsolved. Some spare teeth were left in the mailbox, but none of them fit properly. People began locking their doors at night, imagining a teeth thief loose on the streets. No one knew who would be next, so fear gripped the town. The thief had to be caught, and soon. It seemed the only way to prove every, beyond a reasonable doubt that the teeth in your mouth were yours was to smile broadly at every person you met. Everyone who didn't smile was immediately dragged off to the police station for more questions and a chat with Officer Wright. So everyone began smiling to everyone else all the time, everywhere, even at funerals. Because of Grandpa's teeth, the whole town was beginning to suffer. Tourists seeing the endless seas of smiling faces were too scared to get out of their car. After a while, they stopped coming all together. Dad's cafe, and like the rest of the town, was losing business. The mayor called an emergency meeting. That night, for the first time that anyone could remember, the town hall was full. Speaker after speaker stood up to complain about the loss of customers and the constant strain of smiling all day, every day. Pastor Butter summed up the situation. 
While I've always considered this a happy town, there are limits. No one wants to smile without a reason, and there aren't any reasons to smile in this town at the moment. I believe to put a stop to it. It's time. The crowd cheered. Mr. Pertwistle had one of the most finest sets of teeth in the country, and he alone could not afford to replace them. In fact, I alone could not afford to replace them. But if every one of us put in a dollar in the collection plate tonight, we would have enough money to buy two sets of teeth. Most people put in a dollar. Others put in two. At the presentation ceremony, Grandpa opened the package and revealed two sets of brand new teeth. Why are they different sizes? asked the mayor. Oh, only one of them is for me. Grandpa popped one of the sets into his mouth. The other one is for Miss Carbuckle. Her teeth never fit properly, and she has such a pretty smile. Grandpa was very happy with his new teeth. So was Miss Carbuckle. They smiled all the time. In fact, they were so happy that Grandpa's old dog, Grumpy, smiled too. Do you see Grumpy? Can you see him? He's smiling. For the first time. Now, who could have taken Grandpa's teeth, do you think? Well, I hope you enjoyed Grandpa's Teeth. And tune in next time with us for another story. Have a great day.